Hey, good morning, everyone. What's going on? It is Saturday. That means we got a lot of college football going on today. But before we do that and talk about the plays that we have going on, well, just so y'all know, I have one college football play for you to, on this uh, on the YouTube video today and one NBA play that I actually really like. Uh, the projections um, all had them going, for sure. oddly enough, over in those basketball plays. And... Um, the lowest one was about a 68% chance it was going to hit, which is awesome. I'll take that. So uh, I'm excited. But let's talk about the – I'm extra excited because look at the win that we got yesterday, man. I really hope you all that are on the winnable follow this one. Um, I know I threw this down the winnable. I just don't know if I – if I just do so many plays throughout the, the week, the days, all that stuff, right, that I never – it gets hard for me to track uh, which ones I gave out to my winnable or to my paid subscription, which ones I gave out for free. So uh, I don't know if y'all got this for free or if you're on the paid one and you got this. Awesome. I uh, hope y'all trail this because this was huge, man. I mean, we it was a combination of Thursday night football and Friday uh, college football. This was amazing. I mean, uh, of course, this trio hit and this, this trio hit. Washington, man, they came, they surprised me. They came out the gates just ready to ball. I mean, uh, especially that defense, man. We gotta get yes, that offense was was amazing, was badass. I mean, they did their job, but that defense of Washington, like man, he would they have to get a lot more credit than they're getting, uh, just because they they stopped Bo Nix. They come almost they shut him out the first quarter. They almost shut him out in the second quarter. Like the. He, that's one of the. That's probably the best team in college football, right? Uh, it's probably definitely up for debate, but one of the best teams in college football that they just pretty much shut out for the entire uh, first half. And then, of course, Oregon, Bo Nix, they are what they are. They are elite. Uh, Bo Nix is an elite uh, quarterback, college quarterback, and then Oregon, they're just an elite college football team, right? So they ended up coming back. Uh, they made it a close one. Uh, they kept it. Very, very close. They got a lead at some point, and then uh, that Washington offense was just too much the entire time. I believe that if Oregon will play the way they played the second half in the first half, then you know we would have hit, we would have gotten a lot more money last night. But that's not the case. But what is the case is that we got, we still got paid. I mean. We got thirty-seven fifty, three thousand seven hundred fifty dollars on this six man right here. I I just put in one fifty, right? Yes, I know it's hard to hit a six man, but think about those odds, okay? Just I know like one fifty seems like a lot of money to risk on a six man, but just think about the odds. Since y'all been following me, I mean, I hit a. I I can't I probably hit more, five or more six man plays and just think about all the you know maybe I did like ten to fifteen of those six mans in total right and each of those six mans wins me at least two thousand dollars so just I mean yes it's hard to hard to hit the six mans right I get it nobody likes doing those large plays uh, but if you do them correctly and you spread them out and sometimes you can we can't just do one big old six man play like we had uh, on Thursday night football but a lot of times we spread it out throughout the week like look look what happened I mean we we just pretty much played for a really good game on Thursday and a really good game on Friday by by Dallas and by Washington and that's what we got. Right. Yes. A lot of it is. Yeah, we got lucky. You know, I'll take that. But, you know, I'll take that lucky money to the bank, you know. So we got thirty seven fifty there. It's awesome. It could have been a lot better of a week. Right. Let's not forget about this one. Oh, man. I just I just want like a little I'm going to buy a little violin off Amazon and maybe just play it if it's if they have one. <laughs> maybe if they got one, maybe just play it uh, during uh, these times. Right. So. If these this would have hit and then this would have hit, I mean, we would have would been up almost twelve thousand for the for these two days. But we're I mean we're up what six hundred seven fifty. We're up about forty five hundred for the weekend, and it's not even uh, Saturday is barely about to start, right? So we're already up forty five hundred for the entire weekend, which is badass. And you all see here, I got thirty three hundred left on my account here, but I already have like I think I counted them. I still have, I did a lot more plays this morning because, uh, of course, if I get wins, you best believe I'm going to reinvest it back into the game. Um, that way I could just make more money, right? Uh, yes, 
ideally I would love to just put 3000 back into my bank account, but even more ideal is use this to make even more money, right? 3000 is cool, but 20,000 is better, right? So, I mean, yeah, that's just, that, that's just that, right? So let's go ahead. Let's talk about the, uh, and of course, look, let's be real, right? So we did lose, right? We had, a, of course, it's Monday Night Football. We don't talk about that. And then, yeah, we took this L here, invested 100 there. Took this L here, invested 100 there. And then uh, just did this little $20 protective play. That's where that little $20 gift came from. Uh, just to see how that, that did. Jaron Jackson was very disappointing. What the fuck was that? That was ridiculous, man. I can't believe. <laughs> they got eight point. I mean, eight P points and rebounds. Like, you're close to, I don't know if you're seven foot, but you're close to seven foot and you can't even... Ridiculous. Anyways, I mean, so also I wanted y'all to see this, right? Like, if you follow my plays, you follow the pattern that I do, you just follow the game plan that I've created. I mean, you will win, right? You will win. So if you just take this, take this number, put a little line like they taught us in elementary school or middle school, and then put seven, seven, right? You divide this sucker. This is about averaging about $180 per play right $180 per play that is awesome you know how much how much I play every single day like it's just the of course uh, you know eventually one day I want to see an average of $300 per play but at one day I'll take 180 per play right uh, I believe that's what that number comes out to if I'm wrong do the math and uh, correct me down in the comments below but before I continue on with the video it is getting a little long make sure to comment subscribe like right it is very important uh, that we get this channel out as much as possible yes I love making money but even more than that I want to help y'all make money as well right so the more people we can reach the better right let's just change Let's change the game. Let's change. Let's create an awesome community and let's let's just help each other make money. If y'all got, you know, also if some of y'all have an awesome place for the day, throw them down below and let other people, you know, bask in it. And then uh, if people like it, cool, they'll they'll follow it. If they don't, then whatever, right? Uh, but that's also a cool little thing. I actually I do have a chalkboard code now. So if y'all are interested, I'll start a chalkboard, and then uh, I'll just pretty much. It's just, you know, whoever wants to join, we'll all just get on there and then we'll just send each other plays, right? If I get a random play, I'll send it out to y'all on there. Or whoever's on my window will probably get it. And yeah, we could do that. If y'all want to do that, put it in the comments down below and then I'll make that happen. All right, but let's get on over with the plays for today. Um, so this is one. I just want to showcase this because we have this going on, right? Uh, we took this this trio and this trio right here today. Uh Georgia plays at 1 p.m. against Alabama. It's going to be an insane game. I expect this to kind of give me this kind of, obviously, I expect this to be like this by the end of the day. And then, of course, I can put 100 to win 2,500 there, right? So I just need three players to hit their projections today and I already get 2,500, right? That's it. That's, that's insane. All right, so that's one play that we have. Let's go ahead and talk about the, uh, the NBA play. All right, I want to show you the NBA play, then I'll show you all the college football play. So for the NBA play, we're going Fred Van Vliet over 24.5 points and assists, Aiton over 17.5 points and assists, and Middleton over 16.5 points and assists. Now, just this is just a pretty much a points and assists parlay. I was a little hesitant on taking all the overs just because unders, in the, especially at this time of the NBA season, they seem to hit. Um, but for some reason, every time I take the under, the over ends up hitting. So I'm just stick to my strategy and just because I hate taking unders. I just I, if it's an under game, I definitely probably won't watch it just because I don't want to root for like, oh, I hope Chris Middleton misses every single shot that he takes up. Like, that's boring. Right. I want to be like, yo, Chris Middleton, I hope you just, you know, you just drain every bucket that you shoot. You just use a ball out right that's a lot more fun to watch so we're gonna go back to what i do we're gonna go back to overs i mean and i'm not just doing it just to do it i mean fred van vliet his he's hit this let me see my notes here he said this like it, oh man i didn't write that down okay well I, what i did write down that he has a 68 percent chance to cover this play right which is good especially in um uh, in what we do, right, with uh, price picks and any other apps I use, 68% chance is really good, right? Um, a lot of books haven't projected to get about 29 today, so it's pretty high, but I'll take it. We'll see. We'll see what, how it goes. And then Aiton actually has a 72% chance to cover this, so an even better chance to cover Fred. And honestly, Aiton, I really wanted to take his under, but 
hey, I'm not going to argue with that 72. I'm not going to be on that 30% side, right? So, and then Chris Middleton, even better, 80% chance to hit this, right? So it just went from 68, 72, and 80% chance. Obviously, the Chris Middleton play is the best one out of all of them. And a lot of books actually have them at since 17 and a half. And Price Picks, thankfully, is giving us a gift and giving us giving us Chris Middleton for 16 and a half uh, point tennises. So I'm going to lock that in for $20 to win 100, right? I'm pretty Pretty much it's just going to use this little $20 gift that I got back from yesterday, and then uh, we'll see how that play goes. I'm gonna lock that in with y'all. We're gonna do 20 to win 100 there. Entry submitted, and boom, you can see I'm a little gift went away. All right, so let's talk about the play, the college football play that I have for y'all to, today. We're going with JJ McCarthy, Cornelius Johnson, Jack Plummer, and Jamari Thrash. Of course, we're taking JJ and Cornelius. Under Cornelius, what an odd name. We're taking them under in their projections. And the reason we're doing that is because obviously Michigan is Michigan. They have an identity, and that identity is to run the piss out the ball, right? They're just going to keep on running no matter if it's working. If it's not working, they're just going to, that's just what they do, right? Teams are going to, are obviously, they obviously, you know, study and design to stop Michigan from running the ball, but it seems like nobody can. So guess what they're going to do today? They're probably going to run the ball a lot. They're going to try to control the game. They're trying to gonna wind down the clock and keep the ball away from Iowa. Uh, so that's definitely uh, the route we're going to take. That's why his unders are already so low. And then Cornelius under so low again. All right. So we're going to go with JJ Cornelius under in their projections. And then we're also going to go ahead and go to that uh, Louisville versus Florida State game. We're taking Jack Plummer and Jamari Thrash. This game should be very, very interesting because it's, well, one, FSU is playing with their possibly their third string quarterback. It's going to be interesting. So, of course, their uh, uh, their uh, main quarterback, he got it. His name kind of just went over my head right now. Birch. No, man. Anyways, so his, the main starter, the starting quarterback there, he um, – he is injured, right? He had a season, a season-ending leg injury uh, last game, right? And then the QB two came in and ended up winning the game, right? And now they're gonna roll with the QB two, but he seems to be injured as well, right? He popped up on the injury report, and they may have to roll with the QB three, right? And when I talk about they, they, I'm talking about FSU, right? Obviously, Louisville, they have Jack Plummer. Jack Plummer's playing. That's why I have him on here, um, but. This is the reason why it's going to be interesting is because Louisville and FSU, they are the top two scoring or passing offenses in the uh, ACC. And then, of course, they are also one of the they both a like top. They both both a top five defense in the A's ACC. Right. In terms of passing as well. So uh, it's pretty much two really good passing office offenses versus two really good passing defenses. So I really hope. The offense beats the defense, right, of course, because we are going for that over. And I'm really hoping it's not a stalemate where it's just kind of like they're just matching each other. And it's just the defenses are having amazing games, and it's a very low-scoring game. Both teams uh, average about 30 points per game, which is actually very, very high in their division. So I'm just hoping that the offenses come out to play and the defenses stay home, right? And this this is the reason why we're taking Louisville versus FSU, right? Of course, I'm not going to trust a second or third string quarterback. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and go with uh, Louisville. They're probably going to win. Oddly enough, uh, FSU still has about a 52% chance uh, to win that game, which I don't get with a third string quarterback. But I'm going to put my money on Jack Plummer and Jamari Thrash. All right, everybody, those are the plays for today. The video was a little long today, but I just had a lot to say. Uh, a lot been going on the past two days, uh, but it's, it's good to cover them. All right, y'all, those are the plays for today. Make sure you lock them in. Make sure you uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, that way you get to get you get more of these and share this with all, your, with all your friends. That way y'all make money together. And go ahead and sign up on my winnable, right? I mean, all week I've been throwing plays on there. All weekend I'm going to continue throwing plays on there. And then uh, after I finish this video, I have a lot of plays going on with that with Miami and some college football today. So I'm going to throw that out on the winnable. So make sure you get on that. All right, everyone, take care, and I'll see you all when we're a little bit richer.